YouTube family, what is up? Happy Gunner 23 here. Man, I've been gone too long, guys. Life has been crazy. I miss y'all. I miss talking about guns. And um, I'm trying to get better again at making videos and going to the shooting range. I haven't been over there like in two damn months, man. Uh, um, it's just been crazy, yeah. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you a little update on some new stuff I got in the time that I've been away. It's been crazy uh, with the not posting stuff and busy, but get out of the way, Rocky. Rocky. Yeah, that's Rocky for y'all guys. Watch out. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to talk about some new stuff I got. Uh, well, I just wanted to, since I already got two new things for my Glocks, I'm just going to show you my Glock 26 also. Um, just to kind of make it, you know, uh, overall presentation with Glock. Uh, so the Glock 26, that's an on your six holster. It's a company based out here in San Antonio where I actually live. Um, so it's it was convenient for me to go and grab it. And it fits really nice. See, look at that click right there. And I'm pretty sure I was showing you all this uh, pistol before already. Um, just stock Glock, except I changed the sights to, uh, I think they're a... Uh, some kind of Ameriglow sights. I forgot which ones they are. I got them put on when I first bought it. But you can see right there. Nice little sight picture. And I have the uh, little grip uh, magazine extension. I believe it's Pierce magazine extension. Right there. Pierce grips. And this is a plus two for the Glock. So instead of uh, 10 in the mag, it's 12. So 12 plus one. If you so choose to carry one in the pipe. I just cleared it. So right now I just got 12 in there. But yeah, Glock 26. This used to be my main carry piece. I still carry every once in a while. Just because it's more, you know, compact and doesn't put too much pressure on your dick. As uh, the bigger bigger pistols. But yeah, this is a very, very nice pistol for me. I've always loved this thing. Just kind of gotten away from it. Because I've got paid more attention to my other babies and my CZ. Which you all know if you follow my channel. I'm a CZ guy, that CZ P01. I carry that one for the most part. But yeah, Glock 26, just want to show this off again. Beautiful little pistol, look at that. Gen 5, of course, all these are Gen 5. And for the new, new updates on my pistols. So this is a traditional arms holster. I decided, I decided to try it out after uh, just, you know, researching different holsters that are out there. Um, and I also wanted different color patterns, you know, different fabric overlays. And then I heard uh, Bobby Dynamite, my boy Bobby. Watch his videos if you haven't heard of him, guys. He's a, he's pretty damn funny. Um, but I saw that he had a traditional arms holster for his one of his pistols. You know, his is straight black, but I looked into the website and I decided to give it a shot. And that's like their little symbol they put on their holster, a little skull. But yeah, it look, works really good. I like it. It has really tight retention. Uh, you can just loosen the screws here if you want. But then it has the two little plastic clips right here for me, the ones that I got. And then this pattern is, I believe, splatter. And you can see the that neon green on the inside, which I think just looks cool. Uh, yeah, I don't like, I like good different color holsters and just colorful items in general. I like the vibrant colors. And then this. My baby, my Glock 19. Y'all, I don't think I've made the video about this. I made it some shorts, but not a whole video. So I sent the slides off for this 19 and that 17 off to, uh, I think they're in California, to a company called Dynamic Weapon Solutions. And so they did slide cuts and Cerakotes on my slides. And for this one, so you got the the actual uh, window they put in here. On the 17, I just got the Cerakote and the Optic Cut. But this one, the Glock 19, Gen 5, I got um, the Cerakote, the Optic Cut for RMR. And then you can see the little little window cut there. And look, it looks really nice. I like this. I love this, actually. Look at that. Just black camo, I believe, is the Cerakote. I just wanted something different, you know? I, I've had the Glock for a little bit already, and I just wanted something different on it. And then I got... I switched all my lights, guys, over to Streamlight. I sold my uh, O-Lights. I just have the O-Light Valkyrie Pro, I believe. 
but I sold the rest of my old lights and I wanted to just convert everything to Streamlight because the holsters out there, are, there's a lot more compatibility for the Streamlights. And I just wanted to switch all that over so I can actually have holsters for all my stuff because the old lights is kind of hit or miss with the for those lights sometimes with the holsters. But yeah, Glock 19 Gen 5, optic cut, uh, side cut, and uh, Cerakote. And this thing is awesome. I haven't actually been to the range to test it out since I got the slide back. Um, but you see the little cuts right there. I believe this is the Reaper cut. I believe so. I can't remember 100% uh, for sure. But yeah, it's the Reaper. Mark V Reaper, I believe. And then I also got the Hollow Sun 407C. Uh, I got off Palmetto State Armory probably about a month ago. Uh, pr pretty good deal on it. And it's an 808 MOA circle. And it has that shake awake right there. There it is. There's the sight picture right there. We can probably do it right here so I can see a little bit better. Right there. I don't have suppressor or height sights on this, guys. Uh, but it still lines up pretty good. You see that? Pretty good sight picture right there. This is my first uh, red dot. So I'm pretty anxious to go test it out. You can see it has a solar panel on top. And, uh, yeah. I like the way this feels. And, of course, you know, I got the... The hauler points, as Hickok 45 would say, just regular 15 round mag. And I don't think there's any wind in the chamber. There we go. Let's see. Let's just take a look at the side view on this. A little trigger reset. Not that bad. And then restrike. Not bad at all. There's not too much creep on these. I don't know. People hate on the Glock triggers a lot. But actually, once you get used to it, it's not bad. You know? Not bad at all. It's just people are used to those real sensitive triggers. I guess if you're doing competition or whatever. But in my opinion, if you're just self-defense and just the regular average guy, stock Glock triggers are not bad at all. You just got to break them in a little bit. You can probably do that. Uh, polish the internals and make it a little bit smoother. But I have no issues with this at all. I'm accurate as hell with these. Uh, no issues, guys. With the trigger uh no complaints on that i mean if i really wanted to i could upgrade them but i don't have a need to right now look at that damn that's so sexy shit ah uh. yeah but again i have not shot um this pistol since i got the slide back or uh when I, since i put the red dot on there also i really want to guys i really want to go soon but it's been a crazy schedule right now but the new, my new baby boy is about to be three months uh, just work, and then my girl's uh, starting to work again too. So she passed her her NCLEX, so we're both busy right now. And if one's not working, the other one's. If you're not working, we're watching the baby. So it's kind of tough right now, but I definitely want to go out there, guys, because you know, I'm like an addict. I'm going through uh, withdrawals. I gotta just hold my pistols, and I'm just shaking if I don't see them, or I'm already shaking for not going to the range. It just feels weird. I haven't been this long without going to the range. But look at that. So sexy. Oh, then I got the Talon grips on here. I had those on for a while. I think that looks super damn sexy right there. Shit. Mm-mm-mm. And the Streamlight TLR7. Okay. So with these, I don't know if a lot of people know this. Um, but of course, you just click it once and it's on, right? Or if you... Click hold and release, it goes off. But I'm gonna click this twice real quick. There you go. Little strobe feature. That's pretty nice for a little compact light like this to have that strobe feature. So with this, once when you get it, uh, I believe to activate the strobe, you have to hit, uh, click this, I think 10 times. So click it, just click 10 times and then it'll, you'll see the strobe come on and then it activates it, I believe. And then once it's activated, you just click it twice after that, and you're good. And click it to turn it off, and then you can just go just to holding and letting go or clicking once, and you got it right there, just constant light. It's pretty damn bright too, guys. Like for a compact size light like this, you'll light up the whole damn room if you're in a dark room or whatever. Really nice. I think they're like 140 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. I got two of these. I got one of these also on my CCP-01. But damn, I can't stop looking at this, guys. 
Man. Look at that. If y'all haven't had a red dot and y'all are curious, you know, this 407C, I think it was, man, like 150 bucks, 150 bucks on a Palmetto State Armory. Not bad at all. That's a hell of a deal. And it's not the 507C, uh, which is the newer model of this, I believe. But 407C, I did some research on it. I mean, for what I'm be using this for, just for the range and probably self uh, home defense, it's good enough for me. Good enough for me. I've also I seen the ones with the green dot also. And I actually would have preferred the green dot, but they didn't have it on there online. And I think it might be a little more pricey too. But look at that. Damn. Sheesh. That's so cool, right? Eventually, guys, pretty damn soon, I'm going to go shoot. I'll go shoot it pretty damn soon. Get closer to how they get a better look. We'll do it like right there. It takes a little bit to get used to, to actually acquiring the red dot, though. Because you can see, like, if you're holding it normal, it's kind of hard to tell from the camera. But if I'm holding it normal and aiming, I don't really see that red dot. You got to kind of cant it down a little bit. You gotta cant it down and kind of get on top of the the light of the the red dot. But you get used to it. I practice, you know, just drawing and acquiring the red dot, and it's, it takes a little bit to get used to. But once you get it there, it's it's all right. Not bad at all. Yeah, man. Lock. Can't go wrong with this baby. Oh yeah, so the traditional arms holster. You're gonna hear that cool click. Oh. I just like that sound, don't y'all? Just the whole sound of the Kydex when you reholster. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, girl. I just like guns and, you know, having cool holsters like that just makes it that much better if you're just into the accessories and everything. Ah. Oh. Such a nice sound. And yeah, I gotta admit, that's a good look, right? Nice little combination. I carried this a few times also. Just see how it feels. Not bad. Not bad. If you haven't carried a Pendix before, you know, it could feel weird with a big, uh, just a big package like this riding on top of your dick. And then driving, it's kind of uncomfortable at first. But you get used to it. You get used to it, guys. So that's the Glock 19, okay? And then I got my Glock 17 Gen 5. Also sent this off to the same company, Dynamic Weapon Solutions. Got the optics cut. And uh, I think it's a metallic camo, I believe. A Cerakote. And I, on this one, I did add the suppressor height sights. Okay. So there's a sight picture right there. Not bad at all. And I uh, told you guys, I, I switched over everything to the Streamlight, so I got the TLR one, okay? And this is actually pretty easy to put on. I like this little lever, it's easy. It's really easy to just loosen and take off. Um, and I like the little toggle switches here. So on this one, on your le left thumb, you push it down, the light goes on, okay? On the right side, it's uh, more like a switch. You just hit it down and it stays on. All right, and this one, I mean, I don't think it has a strobe feature. If it does, I don't see how you'd activate it, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a strobe feature. If y'all know, y'all can comment below and let me know. But yeah, 17 round mags since Glock 17. Got the holler points in there too. And that spring sounds a little loose. I noticed that on that magazine. So we'll see what's going on with it. But I shot it before and it still works fine. But yeah, the optic cut for the RMR. So since it's RMR cut, obviously, since I have a hollow sun on that one, hollow sun and Trichicon, uh, it'll work on the same uh, optic cut. The hollow sun is a, is a RMR style cut. So I, I just gotta get a, either a plate to cover this or get another uh, red dot and put it on here, which I plan on doing with this thing. Can't go wrong with this thing. This will probably be more of an ideal home defense because it has 17 round mag. But yeah, this one's, I added the beaver tail on this one. 
Not bad at all. And we'll do the little trigger for this one too. Okay, not bad. You see, it's not much. It's not much. And then, like, there's no mushy. It's maybe mushy, but there's not a lot of take up. So once it's reset, like, it's right there. You're already at that firm uh, reset where all you gotta do is just pull back, and that's it. So I, that's why I don't have any issues with my triggers. I don't know how anyone else's are, but mine, there is no mushiness, I guess, to where it's like super uncomfortable. What the hell's the damn hair in there? And my dogs or my girlfriends here, I don't know. But yeah, let's see, one more time. Right there, not much at all. And then you see, I'm pressing down and you don't see any mushiness or take up or slack in the trigger. Once I pull back hard enough, right there, it's done. So it's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm sure how y'all feel about Glocks. If y'all have one, you know they're always reliable. They're bad at You can change them however you want to. Make them up however you want to. Not bad at all. And then the cool thing with this, I'm going to show y'all. Um, so let's take this thing off, okay? Let's pull this sucker off. I'm gonna show you all something pretty cool. That's why I got the traditional arms also, I believe. That's, I did my research, and that is another reason why I did. I got this holster. I don't know if it's the same thing with all the other holsters, but I'm gonna show you real quick. Let's see if I can take this off. Some of these screws on the stream lights are damn tight, and you need a, like a screwdriver. You need a damn screwdriver sometimes, because yeah, this, this one's pretty damn tight. So take my word for it, guys. Okay, just take my word for it. That one, if this Glock 17 has the Streamlight TLR7 on it, it will also fit this holster that's meant for the Glock 19. Okay, I ordered it for the Glock 19, but the 17 also fits. That's why when I did my research, I wanted to make sure it had an open end on the bottom. So let's just imagine that it had that TLR7 on it. It'd be like right there. So it just stick out a little bit and look, it just clears the suppressor height sights. Just barely. And so it, it, that's obviously meant for suppressor heights. It's also meant for suppressor height sights also. Sound like I stuttered there, but like you can see right there. Barely fits, so it's meant for the suppressor height sights. That's another reason why I got it, because I already knew my Glock 17 was gonna come with these heights and I wanna see if it fit. So I'm pretty damn happy that it does. So I can carry both of these if I wanted to. Not at the same time, but I can switch them. And with the light, it does, you can hear the click too, also with the, with the light. So yeah, that's why I figured it'd be better for me to get this instead of getting two different holsters. Way better in my opinion, that you can carry both. And look, I mean, it's just a longer grip. A little bit longer grip, but it's still the same size besides that grip. Not bad, right? I thought that was pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, honestly, I think that's it. I just wanted to go over uh, the new stuff I got for y'all. And just show my... Not my face, but... Just make another video and put it out there. I've been absent for a little bit. Gotta keep up with the videos. Girl, this coming in a little bit, right? Oh, and look, I'll show you. You see? It's not gonna fall out. It has. It's pretty damn tight. Like I said, you can adjust this... Tension on these screws right here. But yeah, this thing ain't going nowhere. Pretty cool, right? And let's put this baby back on. Put this back on. Right there. Not bad. Glizzy Glock. And then I'll just show you real quick in the box for the Hollow Sun. It comes with two different sets of screws. And I was trying the first set on and it wasn't working at first. It wasn't um, sitting down on the slide cut. So I was like, what the hell is going on? And I noticed they had a second set of screws, which 
probably a little bit longer maybe different size for sure different length but not a drastic size uh, change in length but that's what did the job so here you have your little tool okay your um little wrench that'll screw in the screws into the slide for the red dot and then you have your i think it's for the windage elevation yep uh up and down and then left and right adjustment little little tool right there and then of course two different sets of screws okay i forgot which one i was using they're in there i'm not gonna take them out though but one of these was it wasn't sitting right so i was like what the fuck the the red dot was loose and you couldn't tighten the screw down anymore so then i noticed i had another set of screws in here so like, let me try that one because it looks the same if you just hold them next to each other but i decided to just try it out and screwed them on there and they went all the way down and the the red dot wasn't loose and it made me happy i thought i was gonna have to contact somebody about different screws different screw sets to use or just do some research on what what to use but nope i'm glad it fit it works it's on there it's not gonna move and they come with blue loctite on the screws already so once you put it down um it should be good to go hopefully it doesn't uh, loosen up uh, when i take it to the range finally and shoot it but if it does i'll just get some more loctite and put it on there but yeah nothing too crazy with this this is my first uh like i told you my first red dot didn't take too much research i mean I got the RMR cut on my slides intentionally because I knew I was going to get a red dot eventually. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I knew I needed an RMR style red dot and the hollow sum went right on there. And yeah, it's been a few months journey to finally get everything together, but I got it. Now I just need to go to the range and try them out. But man, I guess I look at this one. I think it's just because of the holster. I'm going to go to Best Buy later on, I think. See if I can find a new laptop or just see what they got. I'm definitely going to carry this one. Yeah. Y'all, comment below. See what y'all think about my stuff. Any suggestions on other accessories. Um, what y'all's favorite Glock is. What y'all have on y'all's. And where y'all are from. I'm from San Antonio. And I kind of want to just be more engaging with with the people on my videos and the community in general yeah one more time guys so i can hear it yes love that sound okay guys i'm about to get out of here before my baby boy wakes up and starts crying uh y'all be safe um talk to y'all later Happy Gunner 23, out.